Tune in this week's Xamarin Show, where my good friend Bodanon, all the way from Poland, showing off magic gradients. So tune in. Welcome back, everyone, to the Xamarin Show. I'm your host, James Montemagno. Today, I have one of my best friends in the entire world, all the way from Poland. Bodan, how's it going? Hi, James. Thanks. I'm awesome. Still waiting to bars be open. <laughs> I know it's, you know, it's late over there for you. I know you're getting ready to go to bed pretty soon. Um, however, I'm really excited because you and I have actually done a little bit of promotion of a really op awesome open source library that you've been working on with others all about gradients. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, correct. We have a cool uh, library about the gradients with some magic, magic <laughs> from its CSS world. <laughs> I'm really excited about this because I love gradients. I feel like every application needs a little gradient magic sprinkled into it. Um, and you've been, you did some blog posts and I believe you have like a big release that just came out, correct? Yeah, in this week and the Monday, we just released a 1.0.3 version with a lot of improvements and with some bug fixes as well. Oh, very cool. Well, they may be brand new to a lot of people coming in. They may not even know how to create gradients. Um, and I understand you have a really awesome demo, correct? Yeah, yeah. I prepared something special for today. All right, cool. Well, let's hop over to your machine and give it a look. So if you are new to Magic Gradients, all you need to know is that it's pretty simple and don't have a lot of some dependencies. It's only depend on summary forms from 4.4 version mm -hmm. and on ski sharp because it's in the simple it's just a wrapper over ski sharp possibilities to draw a gradients but it's not give you the simple api it's have a lot of built-in possibilities uh, to deconstruct hard uh, web css gradients that you can draw with ski sharp and any mobile device or uvp as well so here I have a demo, just creating from scratch and nothing are installed here. As you can see on this latest summary forms and .NET standard library. First, what we should do is just type magic gradients find. Here as you may see our the latest 1.3 version, just install. You don't need to initialize or something too special. It all will be done automatically from you. Uh, before this version, to write any gradients, you need to import that long and not readable using in the XML. But now, with 1.3 version, you call the, all that simplify. Let just go to official GitHub page. And in the readme, in the official page, you will find how you can import it easily. Oh, very cool. I love I love the new simplified namespaces of just URLs that have everything. That's really cool. Yeah, it's much more readable because just showing that it's magic, it's schema, and it's a gradient. And from what gradient may we start? So let's at first run because thanks to Hot Reload, we can easily add and modify a lot of gradients in runtimes. Sometimes on Android, you may guess that something may not update, but it's really, really uncommon scenario. For example, gotcha. if we just scroll down, we can see that we can build uh, gradients through the XAML or with a C-sharp code behind. For example, in your code behind for view for views or even in view models as well. Uh, it was requested for us because some people loves more to write C-sharp code and in view in C-sharp rather than in XAML. Mm. So it's up to you how you can create them. So as a start, let's just start from a simplest gradient just to show you how it works. We have a grid and a text. Let's just place behind that text our first gradient. And I think it's good to change text color to white to have text more readable. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> and let's go further. Uh, what is cool is that our 
Magic Gradient Content View is a collection. You can put not only one linear or radial gradient, but a couple of them. For example, we can paste a collection of gradients where we have two linear gradients, paragon from left to right and second from top to left end. Here you can see that red color slightly change to orange. Mm -hmm. But it's not the whole power of magic gradients. Magic Grant is so powerful because, as I mentioned it before, you can use CSS. Oh, wow. Cool. Let's. Here we have uh, two ways to do it. First, you can pass CSS in line in your XAML. But if you're already using CSS for styling your application, you can use a background word that uh, built in into Xamarin style compilator and can be compiled correctly. And you can attach all your gradients in, in CSS code in your application. Oh, wow. Uh, I will try to do the solution with inline CSS because it's much easier for us to see how it's reloading and other stuff. And now we have a simple three color gradients. Wow, that's really cool. I love, and it's really short too, because that CSS property is sort of standardized and it's just really, really, really small amount of code. That's really cool. Yeah, in our new readme, we try to describe what you can write in CSS code, where, in what position, and how it will be translated. But as far as I know, most of our users will not do that and just copy one of 1700s already prepared gradients for you. <laughs> oh, wow. But from where we can take it, if you go to margin gradients, you can easily find this official GitHub page and it will be like first or second in Google results. And just download a source code or copy it or make a fork, for example. You will find a playground application itself. Let me show for that a finger. It's what you will get if you just download our application. We have some scripts for build. We have some custom tools that probably you won't, don't want to use. They are using for grab and search some web CSS and converting it into our database. But you want to run a, just a playground solution or solution with all libraries. I will show you the default solution where it's all combined, but it's up to you because just loading less solutions into your MacBook or Windows computer. So here we are. Uh, after restyling in the latest uh, commits in GitHub, we have a real nice structure with the features where you could easily find everything you want. So let me just run that application. As I mentioned before, you can run it on UVP, Android, and iOS, and check out everything there. Oh, cool. So it works basically everywhere Xamarin Forms is supported. Yeah, yeah very yeah. cool. We have some problems with Playground because we're using some of that don't support UVP. But thankfully, in the latest updates, they are supported, so we can run it. Unfortunately, for Mac, I can't show UVP, but you can go check out by yourself. Uh, Playground application just starts with showing you how you can create gradients. To that, we'll get back in a moment. And what you can find in the source. First of all, as I mentioned, the gradient gallery with 700 examples. Wow. All of them are worked. Just open. Uh, probably I will open the wrong one. Let's more colorful. For example, burst. And these are all, you can just grab like the XAML or the CSS examples and just put them right into your source code. We have it everything in our database and our users were slightly disappointed that they should go search it for ID. So we, if you select any of them, uh, prepare for you quite nice feature that you can share Whoa. and just copy that. Copy, go to my application and just paste it. But one thing, it's prepared for CSS file. So we just should remove silicone and background work in the start. Gotcha. Whoa. 
Amazing. That's so cool. Uh, that is just, I love I'm it. Sorry. <laughs> I love it because it's like it's like you know you you see the thing and you want to put it in your app, and now you just can with like a button click. That's so cool. Yeah, but sometimes not all application when it's become hard and larger correctly supports sometimes hot reload. Mm. Especially for that, we create a battle test page. You could find it, how it's done. It's named Paint in the application. If you open it, you see a couple buttons, this couple ways, and the list in the background. You, all you could do is just clicking, look how it may looks like on the buttons or like a background, and only just change text color for black or white, oh. because sometimes it may be better with the black. Uh, it just will speed up you when you try to select the best gradient for you. Very cool. That's awesome. So you can kind of really get a real world example of what it's going to look like inside of your application instead of just this background. It's like, here's all of the different elements. Yeah, because sometimes what is cool in the background for entire page is not really cool feed in small buttons. Yeah. So that's why we have here large button, middle, disablet, really small. Wow. And the list. Cool. So what I can't uh, find else in that page, we have a special tool by item where you can inspect how it does. Wow. What colors are used here? In what places you could even add some additional masks, which is a new feature from 1.3. And you could just play with it. Whoa and create all you need. For example, gallery editor, and we have here gradient editor page, gradiator, gradient editor view model. It's now with the features combined all together, and it will be just simpler for you find it in only that folder instead of scrolling the whole folder with all views, all view models. So now navigation through the playground will be just more easier for you. Uh, in the moment, I will show you how is it done, but just one more thing, you can combine it. For example, you oh, can cool. combine a couple of them, or even attach a gradient for some text. Oh, cool. Or even paths. Let me just unselect it. And we have awesome summary in local. Very cool, that's awesome. Not include, same as exclude. Wow. Also, what's come new with the latest release is animations. We have a lot of awesome animations. It's still like a try from us, and we would like to hear from you some feedback, what you would like to see at animations. We try to do like it's done in summary forms, but maybe you want something special. Mm -hmm. Just go to us, create an issue, create a proposition, and we're really nice to hear all of you. That's very cool. So you can really just add all sorts of nice little animations or really like almost write a whole game or something like that. It's just in gradients. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And what is awesome that is really fast because thanks to Skia, it's run only once and all the changes not redraw everything, but only that parts that are changed. Oh, cool. So very optimized. Yeah. Cool. And the last awesome thing before we come to creating our own gradients is the mass. We already saw it partially, but now I would like to share with you a code, how it's done, because it's done in a really nice way. Masks. Here, as you can see, we're using some code in CSS to style it. Thanks to that, Alexander will be without any styling information, just you can see how it's done. OK. We are using here a sharp nada tabs. So it's our first tab. And for example, that mask with magic gradients. It's just a magic gradients content view with a left mask, which is excluded. And inside it, we have a mask magic, just mask with a text. Above it, we have a gradients, which now not the mask is excluded, but exclude only a text. Mm. And applying over it, just a rectangle mask. 
Oh, very cool. Very simple. Yeah. All to that idea comes to Marcin Gerasinski. He's implement all that mass, really thanks to him. It's really a huge piece of work, but it's really usable. Yeah, super usable and really easy to understand. Very cool. And in the end, I'd like to show you how you can modify existed. For example, let's take something simple. Ah, one more interesting thing. You can filter by a couple predefined but as oh, cool. <laughs> because nice. maybe you search something green or yellow. You can search for anything that more or less similar with yellow and find what you want. And here I show it. If we just show CSS, it will show you all CSS and how it's built in. It mm. has our own hot reload engine that allows you to modify it and in real time see the changes. For example, and 100, 170. Very cool. Wow. And in the same way, you can go to generic radial or linear gradients. It's view just the same, but starts from different gradients. Mm. Here with a radial, there with a linear. Just the same, you can modify it. You can modify the size with add repeat, with an add repeat for it, and also allow some masks. In the code, you can find how it's added and just copy generated stuff to you, to yourself, to your application. That's very cool because what that gives you is the ability to just start exploring and figure out what's right for you without having to put it into your own application, trial and error, trial and error. You can just come into this tool and use it as a gradient editor, which is really nice. Yes, I think we're done with a playground application and let's go back to a GitHub page because we found that not all of you was really happy with readme because we got some questions that was already solved mm. here and it's how it was looks like before one huge large gif and couple examples and probably it's that's all here we just have the end but during the time we prepare for you really nice with it looks how can work with that application. First of all, we really mentioned that if you're using simple sample app, you can get a lot of cool and awesome examples. Then we try to structure how you can create it and discover all that magic, amazing backgrounds with a simple short uh, GIF where it's showing all most important parts that you can do in a playground application. Later, you could explore all is available with uh, studying by CSS because we're trying to support like 95, 98% mm -hmm. of all CSS uh, for gradients, but still some 2% that we are not supporting, <laughs> unfortunately. And then here we try to describe how you can play with CSS. For example, here, I don't show it for you, but you can add Define it linear or radial gradients inside of CSS preview and just start to modify it by yourself. Oh, cool. Very cool. And the last thing, which I was already spoiled, is the masks and animations. Very Here, cool. Here uh, we describe all that we have that is a clip mode that we can exclude or exclude the draft and that active. And if it's not active, the mask will be just ignored. And the what is really cool is that we try to support the path. It's the first release with all that features. We try to do a lot of tests and all should work with the path. But if you will find something, don't be scared. Just create an issue and we try to help you and solve the problem if it will be in our site. Very cool. And it's mostly all I would like to show you from our new updates. The new version it just was released and really excited to hear from you. Are you happy with the new namespace? Are you happy with the new animation and mask? And in what way you want to 
use our gradients in your application. Maybe you want something special like an animated progress bar or something adventures in splash screen, for example. So Very really, cool. Really nice to hear anything from you guys. Yeah, this is absolutely great. I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, to go through all the features. I'm a fan. I love the playground. That's so cool. Um, I will put all links to everything in the show notes. But Anne, thank you so much for showing this off. I'm really excited for more people to use it. Thank you for being here. It's just a pleasure. Yeah. Awesome. Well, again, thanks everyone for tuning in. Go put gradients in all of your applications and give feedback to the team behind this absolutely stunning library. That's going to do it for this week's Xamarin Show. Don't forget to do all the things that I always tell you to do, like like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're there or on Channel 9. And of course, don't forget to leave comments and of course, check out that GitHub page with all of the awesome stuff and contribute as well. You can do that too. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm James Montemagno and this has been another Xamarin Show.